What is going on guys and welcome back to another video. So what we're actually going to be doing is a couple different things, but I first wanted to show you this center console. So the truck didn't have a center console in it. Obviously when we drove it in yesterday's video, it does have one. It just needs to be completely refinished. When you're sitting in the seat, it's actually like really nice armrest height, which is about where I want it. And let's be real, nobody's going to be sitting in this middle seat anyways because of the shifter and the location. It's just not going to make any sense. We may be able to modify the bracket on this seat so that it sits a little bit lower. And actually, now that I think about it, you look here, it's not even sat down into place yet. Um, there's a little bit, a little bit lower. It's a little bit closer to where it would actually sit. But the point is, we could modify it slightly to make it sit the seat portion to sit a little bit more level with the seat itself. But we're gonna get this completely refinished. The wood is gonna get refinished and coated with something. The seat itself is gonna be refinished with brown leather. We're getting a little bit of progress with this truck in terms of the starting method. So we are gonna put a new starter on it, of course, because if it's already starting to get pretty bad, I'd rather put a new one on to be safe than sorry. But I did come out this morning and I didn't need anybody else out here. I was actually just able to give the starter a couple taps and then I got in the truck and it just started up. So that was great. And I also wanted to ask you guys what you think we should do on this truck in terms of suspension. I could go with a front level or I could go with a four inch lift or a six inch lift. That would allow me to do is either A, if I really wanted to, I could run a monster set up like that with some deep dish wheels, stanced out super wide, you know, whatever. Or if I did a six inch, I could also go with like a 15 by 14 inch rim, like old school wide, and then basically stance that thing out super wide, kind of like that, but have a ton more tire than wheel, which might fit the air of the truck a little bit better. And now what we're gonna be working on is getting all of the plastics for the interior of the truck painted black. First coat done, second coat's gonna go back on in about 45 minutes when I get back from picking up the new weather stripping for the first gen interior. Vehicle of choice today for our run. I don't like being able to switch it up. That is definitely a perk of what I do for a job. Why turns? I was able to find one piece of weather stripping, but only one. We're going to see if we can at least button up the driver's side. And I actually got this at Napa, and that was the only place I could find that had it in stock. And I'm just hoping it's the right stuff. It should be, but we're about to find out. They said that they had another one that they were gonna send me later today to that location so I could just go pick it up. But it's got that groove on the side. And here's the back side, which is the side you'll see. You got that hard, flat edge, and you got that more soft, squishy edge, which is gonna be in between the door and the cab itself, which is gonna create like that airtight weather strip gap so when it's raining you're washing the truck or whatever you don't have freaking water pouring out into your cab in fact instead it'll you know run down the weather stripping and keep it out hopefully it works we're going to try to pop this on real quick got a little bit of unfortunate news the weather stripping does not reach all the way around which is lovely it's not going to be a big deal i can get another piece all i'm gonna have to do is get another section and measure it and cut it to fit underneath here between here and here because this is probably like the least crucial part of the entire weather stripping. That's why I left the section that we were missing, which is this gap. It's probably about two feet wide. Leaving it like that just until I can go to the store when they get another roll of that in stock. And cause I'm guessing the other one that I'm gonna pick up today is gonna, it's the same as this. This is the only lengths that they had. So I'm guessing it's gonna be the same thing. It's gonna be a little bit short, which means I'm just gonna buy another whole roll so I can cut out a section. That's the exact measurement I need for both sides. So it's perfectly good. But right now I wanna work on getting this door panel off so we can get that painted up. I'm going to attempt to put the other weather stripping on. I got an extra roll. This is a different type, but it's still very, very similar and it'll work. And that's gonna to be to do the section under the door sills where we ran out. And I thought I was gonna need a little bit extra. I told you guys. After hours and hours and hours and hours and hours of tinkering on this thing today, I'm ready to show you the progress. Now that, again, another full day, sun's going down. 
I usually do like my shipping and stuff in the morning. Like I have my brother pack all day and then the next day I take a huge load to the post office, get it all shipped out. We are shipping literally as fast as we can. Like my brother packs eight hours a day, nonstop. He just packs, 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 packs. Like he just packs orders. And then the next morning I just haul them all off to the post office and drop them off. But I guess what I was trying to get at was typically in the morning I'm running and doing that kind of stuff. And then uh, usually about noon to 7.30, 8 o'clock, I'm working out on my videos. And then usually from like 8.30 to 10.30, I'm editing my videos. And then the next morning, usually I'm taking stuff to the post office, uploading the video for that day and all that stuff. So it, it is a packed routine. And I guess I thought I was just kind of sharing that because I don't think a lot of people realize how much time goes into this kind of thing. However, I love it. It's fun to me. Like even though I'm busy all day, I get to do what I love to do, even though it's completely time consuming, like nuts, but it's just, I enjoy doing it, you know? So here's the truck. And let me show you everything that we got done. Um, I got the shop back out here because I just vacuumed it out. New door panels are on, okay? Door panels, completely jet black. New seals for the whole door jam, all put on. New scuff plates slash sill plates. You guys have already seen the seats. Center console is, I think I'm gonna have that rebuilt and redone to like match this leather on the center console for that. So that we've got scheduled and ready. I put in the, this black trim piece down here that I painted. The dash I painted and put in this truck several weeks ago now. If you look behind the seat, You've got that trim piece back there, and I actually took that carpet. You know how I said I had it folded under? Well, I actually unfolded it and put it up there, put that black trim piece on. Got the other door piece on. I need to get a steering wheel column for this truck. It's an adjustable steering wheel. If anybody has one, could you hit me up? I will gladly pay you for it. I don't know exactly what the fitment is. It could be the same for second first and second gens, but I'm not positive on that. But if anybody has one that will work for an adjustable steering wheel on a first gen Dodge 1992 W250, let me know. It should be pretty much the same from, you know, the D150, W150s, all the way up to the DW, you know, heavy duty series. If you have one, let me know. I also cut out the holes for the jump seat, seat belts in the back and the buckle for the carpet. So that's good. I also uh, fixed the carpet issue up here and I took this and tucked the carpet just under around the lip all the way around and fitted it a lot better and then fastened that down in. A lot still to do, but the progress is just amazing. It just really is, because this truck, a lot of you guys are you know, long-term viewers, you watch all the videos, and some of you guys are just stopping in new. This truck was a scrapyard truck. Like, it was rough around the edges. It was bad. Everybody that saw this truck that I told that I was gonna restore, you know, like family and friends and everybody that saw it, they're like, have fun with that. I was like, dude, this is a gem. Like, this is such a pretty truck. Like, I will, like, this truck is so amazing, has so much potential, and it was just a completely wrecked truck. I mean, the fenders destroyed, the hood buckled, the bed completely wrecked. It looked like it was T-bones, and it was just like dense from being a work truck, but I'm just saying it was really bad. Basically, just bought a parts truck, swapped everything. I'm making it mine, you know? Look at that interior. Those of you who saw the original truck, are gonna understand how amazing this moment is right here just to even have it in this state where once I get a new starter, I can at least drive the truck. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's such a transformation, it's just nuts. And it's not even done yet. There's still so much to do in the interior. We're gonna clean this stuff up here so it's not so dusty. New headliner, all the other trim pieces are all painted and ready to go in as soon as we get the headliner. Center console, and then just that piece around the steering wheel and a new sound system and radio. And this interior is freaking done to get a dual disc clutch put in and then in addition to the dual disc clutch have the drive shaft rebuilt because there's some slight vibrations in it the truck runs and drives but there's just some vibration stuff in the drive shaft apparently thinking about getting the same headlights that are in the first one that i bought off cody and then getting the same blinkers as well the same uh blinker lights the daytime lights just because it just makes it look like a modern old school cool more my style just looks better i actually went inside to sit down and edit and forgot that i didn't remind you guys about this giveaway truck so anyways guys this truck's going to paint tomorrow but if you want to enter to win this 1997 obs 7.3 power stroke diesel beautiful rust free truck other than these couple paint chips which again 
they are getting fixed. You will have the option between these wheels and tires, which I actually really, really like the ride quality and they ride so much better. The truck feels like it has so much power with these because it's not absorbing so much power with the 24s. But I do love the 24 look, but I love the functionality of these a little bit more in terms of like if you're gonna daily, daily the truck. But anyways, you get the option between these and the 24 inch American Force wheels that we have for it as well. And then also every $1 is 10 entries, but that deal ends tomorrow at midnight. So if you haven't gotten those 10X entries, they will not come back and they end tomorrow at midnight. Also, tomorrow we should be picking up the Whistling Diesel Dually. So you guys should see that video on Monday. And other than that, I'll leave it all just element of surprise in terms of what all we do on Monday for that video. Anyways, guys, thank you so much. If you want to enter to win this truck, lnpgear.com. Just link in the description. Every $1 is 10 entries. Every order gets random cash. Minimum you're going to get is 10% of the money that you spent back in your order. Thank you guys so much. I will catch you in the next video. Peace.